Eleanor and I'm about to do a nanny edition of What's in My Bag. This is a real life representation of what I actually carry around with me. It's not glamorous, I've got to say. <laughs> so this, this is my bag. I'm from a teeny tiny county called Rutland and Proud. So this is where my like canvas tote bag comes from. I use it because it's going to get mucky and ruined carry, like bringing two children around with me all day. So it's really good just to have like a practical big bag. The contents of this bag is excessive. I'm going to just pull out things as I see them. So first, the nicest thing is my cat kids and makeup bag. I come here very early in the morning, so I do my makeup here every day. I've got my makeup brushes and a little bit of eyeshadow just in case. Um, my Benefit Give Me Brow Gel, very important. Um, so yeah, all the important things in here. And teeny mirror. You cannot get away with doing your makeup in someone else's house without a mirror just in case. So the second thing I have in here is the book that I'm reading at the moment. It's called In Order to Live and it's by a lady called Yonmi Park. It's basically the story of how she and her family escaped from North Korea. So, I mean, it's a weird one to read because it's so like gripping and you really want to know what happens but at the same time you're completely aware that this is somebody's real life so it's also scary but I mean a fantastic book and she actually is writing about what it's really like to live there rather than what all of the newspapers and all that kind of thing is saying about it so highly recommend this book so far next thing I've got is a notepad always important to keep track this is super cute it's got a little cap on it my lady, that's where all my notes are. Oh, next up, pair of knickers. You can't go anywhere without, with three-year-olds without knickers, just in case. Um, next up, I've got my glasses case, because as I say, I can sometimes put my contact lenses in while I'm here. They are, it's really pretty on the inside. It's a pretty jewel one, so that's nice. Next, I have my shampoo and conditioner, in case I need to go to my parents' house and have a shower, which is a long story because my house that I live in currently doesn't have a shower, which is difficult because <laughs> it kind of does mean that we, my boyfriend and I have showers at mine and his parents' house. So we're very lucky that we live close to them. What I've been using at the moment, I've just tried these this for the very first time today, the Sheer Blonde High Impact Shampoo from John Frieda, and then the L'Oreal LV Fibrology Thickening Conditioner and I mean they seem okay so far <laughs> Next bottle of water always important with little three-year-olds running around you need to keep them hydrated and yourself my purse and My nanny purse for when I'm paying for things we're doing together Another notebook this one is considerably more used than the other one a something about open days in Lincolnshire to do with children. So I'm constantly collecting inspiration of what to do with them and different things. I haven't actually read this yet, so I probably should. I also have two pens, a hair bubble, 20p, and a hair clip. So that is everything that is in my bag that I carry around with me all the time. When we go out, obviously I switch out like the makeup bag and the shampoo and things like that because I don't really need to take them with me. But generally, I just replace them with snacks, more water and more pants. So <laughs> there we go. I decided to make this little video because um, a lady called Hannah and her son Francis have a YouTube channel called Hannah Lucy which I've just started watching. They're quite new to it and I think they're doing, they're really cool. So I'm really enjoying watching them. Um, so hi, Hannah, if you're there. Um, thank you for the idea. This is really good. Um, I liked your mummy edition of what's in my bag and I thought it'd be fun to do a nanny edition. I, it was interesting. <laughs> I think that you realize that so much of your life is 
taken over by what you do for them <laughs> when you look inside your bag. Um, it was really fun to make though, so I think I'm going to try and make some more videos. I'm about to go on holiday, so I'd like to do some little vlogs there, like I did last year. If you haven't seen them already, have a look at my um, Welsh road trip vlogs. The first one isn't as exciting as the second, so if you're if you're going to watch one, probably watch the second or third Welsh road trip video. <laughs> Great advertising, um, but yeah, um, but I do enjoy watching and making vlogs, so that's kind of what I'll be doing here if I ever do it and maybe make some nanny videos it's a really great job and I really enjoy doing it so thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon bye